A brand new trailer for the Goo Lagoon level in Spongebob Rehydrated has been dropped, so let's go ahead and break it down. How's it going everyone? Blue Knight here and welcome back to another Spongebob Rehydrated video. So THQ Nordic dropped another trailer today after releasing that boss trailer yesterday. Well, this one focuses on Goo Lagoon, so let's dive right into this. So right out of the gate, we're introduced to yet another recreated cutscene. This time, it's the introduction of the Monsoon Robot. First off, the cutscene itself isn't exactly one-to-one -one with the original, but still remains very faithful to the original. A couple differences being that Monsoon presses multiple buttons at once to create a storm cloud as opposed to just pressing one to do so, and then another to activate the lightning. This time around, we can see Monsoon sort of doing this maniacal mad scientist laughter as the storm clouds roll in above the fish civilian, which is a rather nice detail. As for the fish civilian, he actually looks concerned about what's going to happen next instead of just staring at the cloud just to see what happens. <laughs> The cloud itself is noticeably much lighter than the original, which isn't a problem by any means. I'm not bugged by it, so I think it's fine, but when you think about it, it does make a bit more sense because the original was almost black. And, well, the last time I checked, storm clouds accompanied by lightning aren't that dark. As for the lighting in this level, more precisely the brightness, has seemingly been unchanged since the last time we saw this level during the pre-order or pre-hydrated trailer dropped about a month ago. In other words, it's still very bright compared to some of the other levels. Not really a whole lot of anything else to really say for this portion of the level, unless we want to talk about this extra patch of grass that wasn't there in the original. Yeah, let's go ahead and start a running joke right now that we point out every bit of detail down to how many leaves of grass there are. Oh boy. Moving on, these floating flamethrower horse not lifesaver things I can't even believe were put on sale, their color scheme is basically unchanged from the original, just increased in brightness and updated textures, and also the addition of feet, so that's a plus. We get a glimpse into the sandcastle section where you need to escape the rising water. This section is noticeably much brighter, just like the rest of the level. Inside of Goo Lagoon Caves, we can see Thunder Tiki's being triggered for the first time in any of the footage that we've seen for Rehydrated. They now turn red and have a much lighter thundercloud than the original, wherein they just got a bit brighter and have a darker thundercloud. Outside of the caves, we come to once again the pier section. The first thing we can notice is the bus stop. We can notice that this particular one was flipped around to face the other direction. As for the part of the pole that says bus stop, with the light bulb in the center, it's been redesigned to have a much more modern look by removing the light bulb from the original and now just saying bus. I mean, you can't be much clearer, right? But when activating the bus stop, something feels very odd about it. And I think it has something to do with the camera angle combined with a scaled down, more modern bus with an extra window and an additional door. Because in the original, it used to take up most of the screen, but you can still see the top of the bus stop above the bus. While that's the same case in Rehydrated, but I think it's just not as noticeable due to the more zoomed out camera angle. Now I think this is more so a good thing than bad, because it makes a bit more sense than taking up almost the entire screen. We even get to see Patrick's frightened face. Great, 10 out of 10. Cut over to Patrick sliding, and if we look at the original pre-hydrated trailer, or in other words, the pre-order trailer, we can see that they basically removed these lines from the edges of the screen to give more of an impression of speed, which honestly wasn't needed in the first place, but hey, I'm fine with this change, as it's more faithful to the original. There's a glimpse of Patrick's slipping animation that can be seen, and I think it's fine. Again, we can see the timer in the middle of the screen. Now, as I said before in a previous video, I wasn't exactly sure how I would feel about this, and if it would really cause any interference while playing, comparing to having it on the side of the screen in the original. Well, I now feel safe to say that it won't really be interfering with anything, like, at all, because you can still see what's well ahead of you, so I think we'll be fine with this. 
The bumper boat area, first of all, it looks much smaller than the original, where it looked much bigger. You had much more room to maneuver around the boats and the robots. Here, in Rehydrated, not so much. The floor looks to be more like ice rather than slippery metal, and I honestly like this. As for the bumper boats, well, the colors have been switched around. The actual boat part is now a darker gray than the original's white boats, while the bumper parts are now striped as opposed to just being a solid red color. And yeah, that's basically all I've really got for this video breakdown of the latest trailer. So, as always, what do you guys think of this trailer? Do you still have any more concerns for the game? Because I think there's still time for more adjustments to be made to the game before goes gold. And for those wondering, going gold is the term that's used when the game is ready to be put on disc and shipped out to the stores, as well as the digital marketplaces. So yeah, thoughts, concerns, anything, be sure to leave it all down in the comment section below, and also be sure to stay tuned to the channel for the latest SpongeBob Rehydrated news and updates coming your way. Once again, thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel. I've been Blue Knight, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Goodbye.